guys so uh it's uh brian from uh, bk adventures and uh have a special guest here my wife gloria hey um so basically we've been back in the u.s for about i don't know a week almost two weeks almost two weeks so we got back last wednesday so you know i've been trying to you know finish up the videos and, and get out to you guys uh before we start our, our next trip so first thing i want to say is just a big thank you guys for watching you know so you know i do this for fun you know and uh, i i figure if it helps anybody out you know th then great you know what i mean so yep. but thank you guys for watching um so I, we just mm -hmm. wanted to jump on here real quick and um just kind of go over our, our trip just kind of talk about uh our experience while being in pv so you know you know it's funny because i i, I wrote out a little paper here like you know a, a, a script and uh you know what i wanted to do is to write some questions down so that way we can uh both answer without knowing each other's uh, answer so that way we can <laughs> no answer. cheating yeah so so real quick the reason why we went to pv is really for t uh, three reasons one we wanted to finish our residency process yeah. and then two we wanted to celebrate gloria's happy uh, birthday so happy uh, uh birthday gloria yeah. and then we wanted to see if pv was the place we wanted to live because we were, were headed towards guadalajara you know but we just said well you know what let's check out pv to see if that's something you know a place we want to live so so all right so uh the first question uh, is going to be our, our food okay so yeah so basically you know if you guys watched a lot of our videos you know we ended up at mcdonald's a lot and that's just because our son colton you know you Love know for for him yeah so but uh, we had a wide range of food while in yes. in pv so we, we had you know we went to an italian restaurant we had yes. thai food we yes. had little eastern food you know a buttload of tacos oh, and uh delicious. and then like some 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 steak so yeah. so so i'll first ask gloria what were her top three favorite places to eat narrowing down three was really hard because of course uh my number one choice was uh don chava for the el pastor tacos they were absolutely fabulous every time we went there they were super friendly one time we did go in the very beginning and it was super busy but other than that it was they were really nice the drinks are delicious best margarita i think i ever had and um yeah that was my first top okay. what was so, my so, top one what so, was so how about one? this oh da, my my top one was don chava too so so i actually <laughs> did a video that's you know so we went to don chava four yeah, times four but times. on eight there three times so yeah. So it was, you know, great, consistent experience, you know, consistent. The, the meat was good. Um, interesting enough, we, we tried the, the big places. We went to Pepe's yep. and then we went to um, Poncho's, Ponchos as well, you know, and Poncho's is the one that has the, yeah. you know, we waited in line for an hour, you yep. know, at Poncho's. It wasn't bad. I was going to say it wasn't bad. It was actually really good. I enjoyed it. Um, would I wait an hour or two hours to be there? No. Because Don Chava is just up the street and it's better. And they're just as friendly. Just, you know, everything is delicious. So I wouldn't wait an hour for that. No. It was good, though. It was good. All right. So what was your second choice? Uh, my second choice was the Thai food at um, Siam Cocina Thai. Delicious. The service, impeccable. We got there at 6 o'clock? At 6 p.m., I think which is suggested because right at seven o'clock, it was slammed. Every table was full, everybody everybody was super nice and super friendly though. The, the food, I had a ginger martini, which is my first time. It was super spicy and it was also super refreshing. I was, it, that, was my, that was my favorite drink, I think. Besides the margarita, of course. <laughs> yeah. um, but for something really different, I think that that was a good choice. Siam Thai. Right. Mm -hmm. my, my second choice was yes. Canto Palmeiras. I don't know if I'm saying it right. That's oh. at the uh, mm. uh, Playa Palmeiras Beach. Yes. That's where we had some shrimp, shrimp tacos, tacos. And we were overlooking the fried, beach. Fried shrimp tacos. Yeah, it yeah. was fried shrimp tacos. Yep. 
and they the tacos were fantastic the yep. sauce was great and then the view it, you just couldn't beat it you know what i mean yeah. it was it was second to none yeah it was but you know fantastic. it was even better because they had the live music going mm -hmm. and then you had the ocean breeze and you hear the ocean going so i think a lot of that added into it yeah. Th no, those were really good tacos. I, for right. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. What was your third choice? My third choice was the tamale at the flea market at the marina. It was the cheese and jalapeno. Oh, okay. Yeah. One of the vendors had the most amazing... Now, I think I, I had had tamales twice. They were wrapped in banana leaves and they were so moist and so tender and delicious and full of flavor. And everybody's so humble and wonderful, too. That's That made it even better, I think. Okay. All right. What was yours? My, mine's a Thai food. That was my third. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what, what's funny though is after doing that video I did the other day yeah. of that uh, of what Irlu Bakery. Oh yeah. Uh, what is what is the name of that? Yeah, I I don't know the bakery, but oh, but basically okay. I did a video yeah. on it, and I think we've ate there like six times. You yeah. know, every day. Yeah, that was a place we visited <laughs> the most. The most. You know, but. I think we went there even more than McDonald's. So. Yeah. So it, it was, I'm surprised uh, they didn't know our name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, all right. So, what are your th well, the three worst foods that you uh, had? You know, I only put down two okay. because two really stood out to me. Uh, when we went down to Yalapa and we were eating on the beach, I had a little bit of a bad experience because my food wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I think. Um, when you have a little bit of a language barrier, you know, you have to kind of have a little, give them a little grace, right? So I was like, okay, we'll just drink this margarita, enjoy the view, and call it a day. But I didn't get the name of that beach club that we were at. It's right here, because it's my third. <laughs> oh, Cafe Bahia. Cafe Bahia at, uh, at the town pier in, in Yalapa. Yeah. yeah, beautiful view. Beautiful view. Everybody's super, super kind. But you know, when 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 you have the language barrier, it 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 gives you a little bit of a deficit. What, what, was, she, what was your oh, second one? My second one, wah, wah, my oh. birthday dinner at um, Ser, Serrano's Grill. Uh, it we, well, first of all, did you show them the hill and the and yeah, the well, I see, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> the stairs to get up there were a little bit insane. Um, but the the view was beautiful. The view was beautiful. They were very nice, but um, my steak was cooked incorrectly twice. So I was just like, oh, you know, it is what it is. The the cocktail was very good though, um, but that was you know. Yeah. So so that's my yeah. number one place the worst food. That was sad for for a couple reasons. One is because her food wasn't done right. Mm -hmm. um, my food was okay um and you know when you're paying 150 dollars in mexico like yeah. 150 us d us yeah in, in mexico you, you expect a little bit better you yeah. know uh the service you know they were nice but you know you would have to come ask them to refill your drinks and it, yeah. it just it just wasn't a good experience so no so we we eat out here in dallas a lot so i guess we have high expectations Very. for for steak you know what i mean so yeah. The, the second one I had was at La Ruta restaurant and bar. And every time we walk past that place, I think it's like, oh, that place is the place we didn't like. Oh, so the first place yes, we went the to. First place oh, okay. we went to. Yeah. Yeah. And then Cafe Baja. At it was okay. Like, um, it was just okay. It, it, the, the, the tortilla chips were a bit hard. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it was just okay. <laughs> Uh, and then the Cafe Baja at Inulapa, but that's Inulapa. what uh, what Gloria was mentioning too. The, yeah. the other thing that she didn't mention was, Just... you know, you eat on the beach, and and for whatever reason, or my experience is there's not a lot of flies in Mexico. No. But they were all at that beach. They were all at, at that, that beach. beach. Yeah. You know, trying to eat our food. So that, that was so crazy. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. That, that it... Oh, and then you know what was a little bit of a weird experience was. Um, we did it was a lot of fun taking the boat to get there mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun and i'm you know a little terrified of boats and all that but had a great time and then getting off the boat you have to jump off the boat into the water into the water yeah. that was a lot of fun too yeah. <laughs> but get waiting to get back on the boat that was a little rough yeah so definitely bring your spf with you if you go to that beach and you're waiting for the boat 
uh, bring an umbrella and bring some sunblock for sure. Yep. So what were your top? Uh, I know we didn't go to a lot of beaches. Yeah, we didn't go to a lot of beaches. So, kind of, kind of funny that you go to a beach town, you don't really go to the beach yeah. that much. So, what were your top beaches? Uh, my top beach was the Conchas Chinas. Um, that was the one where we had the shrimp tacos. Gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. beach. Oh, I got. Wasn't that? I got uh, Con oh Palamas. That's what. Oh, okay. Oh yes. And uh, that was that was uh, the one right there at the restaurant. Yeah, and then um, and then the Yalapa Beach. I liked it. Yeah, I, it was a really beautiful beach. It was just you know the food was a little weird, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that was a beautiful beach. I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. So so I agree. Yalapa was my yep. top. Canto Palmeiras was my second, and then mm. the third was Playa de Oro, and that was a beach. It was very oh, nice. Yeah. And we didn't spend a lot of time there, and we mm -hmm. kind of tripped over over it because we were looking for the marina yep. uh, to find a water tax. We couldn't find it. We were walking around and just stumbled into that beach. So, you know, and I'll put all these names in in the the comments below just in case you guys you know care and want to look at it. Yep. All right. So what's next on our list? It's kind of funny how you know we, we match a lot of stuff. I guess that's why we're oh. you know, married. All right. So so now we're gonna ask for. Top activity here. So Top we, activity. Yeah, so we did a lot of things, you know, water taxi, Yalapa, we did the zoo, we did yep. razor riding, you know, like the dune buggies or whatever. Uh, we did whale watching, you know, we hung out, you know, a couple beaches. We mm -hmm. actually went to, we did a real estate tour where yep. we went and looked at some, uh, some houses, um, well not houses, well condos. <laughs> and then we went to flea market, uh, you know, we went to the Saturday flea market, mm -hmm. the Thursday flea market, and then a couple of, you know, everyday flea markets, and we just walked around. So, so what were the top three things for you? I would say the top three things, the, the whale watching, okay. because obviously I haven't been on the water in decades, and I was super excited to go. Um... Number two would be the boogie riding. Okay, the excursion. razor boogie. Okay. Yeah, that was so much fun, and everybody was super nice and and learning a lot of of the culture, and getting to meet a lot of new people. Um, and then the third one I think is going to be the evening market at the marina. Oh really? Oh, yeah, that's surprising. I really enjoyed that. It was super nice. It was. A little bit crowded, but I, I liked it. You know, there was lots and lots of vendors and got to taste a lot of food. So I think that was a really good time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, so my number one was well watching too. That, you know, I, I really enjoyed yep. that. The second one was the zoo. Okay. So where, well, I'm sure you can probably go oh, a lot of places. the zoo. But, you know, yeah. to hold a baby lion, you know what I mean? Like a lion cub. Oh my God. That was just kind of cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, I kind of felt like Rafiki. And you know the Lion King, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> go, 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 you know. But yeah, so yeah. so that was really really cool. Yeah. And and third, you know, it was just really walk around yeah. eating the tacos, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So so I I enjoyed that, you know. Yeah. Um, so we did a lot of things, but we didn't do a lot of things that we wanted to do. So yes. what are the three things or the top things that if we went back uh -huh. that you'd want to do? I think I would want to go back to the Conchas Chinas beach and stay there because okay. we were only there for a little bit after the after the food. Um, so I would want to go back there. Um, I did want to um, take a dinner answers. cruise. Okay. I didn't get to do that. And um, I, I wanted to go get closer to the um, cruise ships because that's my okay. next venture. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. So, so my three things were scuba, so I like to scuba dive, yeah. you know, but I, I'm not one of those avid scuba divers where I scuba dive, you know, like, you know, you know multiple times a year. So I maybe scuba dive maybe yeah. once or twice every couple of years. So I think the last time I scuba dive was in Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. And that was, what, two years ago? Two so, yeah, it's been ago. about two years. So. It's been a while. Yeah. So the second thing was, okay, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger fan okay so oh. you know they they kept talking about oh yeah yes. they filmed this Elizabeth Taylor movie here and this movie there I'm like oh, okay whatever yeah um, they talk but, about that a lot yeah <laughs> but, but you, you know what I mean I a saw lot. I saw a couple predator things you know here and there and then I think the second yeah. to the last day the guy said oh yeah they filmed predator you know the original predator <laughs> you know and then the they said this the 
you know, down in the jungle by the zoo, and they said a lot of the uh, set is still intact, like mm -hmm. the helicopter, stuff like that, and it's yeah. free to get in, so that's definitely something I would want to do when I go back. So scuba diving, yeah. I'd want to go look at the uh, set of Predator, and then, you know, of course, eat more tacos, you know what I mean? You know, you, you, I, I don't think I ate enough tacos. You did or did not? No, I don't think I did. No, I, I eat more definitely. tacos than you. I think you did eat more tacos. <laughs> All right. So, what are your your top your top surprises, good or bad? What were your top oh, surprises about? Top uh, surprises. Okay, number one is the people are amazing. Like even every time we got into an Uber, twenty six times or whatever it was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> every time it was a different story. You got to you know know. You're the people of the area, you know. I, I think my top surprise was how generous and humble everybody was. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Um, I think a negative was the elevation of everything. Because you see that PV is built on the side of a mountain, basically. But you don't really grasp it until you're walking it. And then you're like, oh, this is up. Oh, okay, and then you have to get into your building and then there's more up. And God forbid you not have an elevator. Uh, we were in Zona Romantica and everything is a little bit older, so finding an elevator is not easy. Um, yeah, that was my other surprise for sure. Yeah, the funny thing about that is we watched a lot of videos before we went to PV. And we noticed that a lot of people had on like knee braces and yes. leg braces. Like, why do you got braces? <laughs> we were laughing. On their, yeah, we were like, oh, oh. And like, damn, you know, I think we needed a cane by the time we left, you know, so. But yeah, I get yeah. it, you know. Yeah. All right. You only had two? Um, I think another thing was that I was really, really happy that the food was so delicious, okay. which I had a feeling that the food would be delicious, but you know, sometimes you go to a different place and um, like Dominican Republic, that was a bit of a, a let down. So I think, I think the food was more, you know, was much better than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so my top surprises are. Okay. okay. So I'm going to say English speaking expats because the reason I say that is yes. because there's a lot of Canadians yeah. and not a lot of U.S. I don't want to say U.S. So, yeah. so they were a lot more English speaking expats mm -hmm. in PV. The, 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 a you lot know, of Canadians. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. there were a lot a more lot there than I thought, you know what I mean? So, you know, there were times where there were almost more English-speaking expats mm -hmm. than actually, you know, like uh, uh, um, Mexicans. Yeah. Um, the other thing also about that is there were a lot of expats working, which kind of surprised me, you know, and when yeah. I say a lot, little, you know. Little businesses yeah. and stuff, yeah. You know, I would say maybe mm -hmm. like 10. So, you know, we saw a couple of people, yeah. like own, like a couple of people had restaurants. I don't know mm -hmm. if they were the owner, the manager. You know, saw some people owners. working at, at restaurants, you know, which yeah. I knew they weren't owners. No. Nope. You know, saw a couple of people walking around picking up cans, you know what yes. I mean? Um, Lots of people at the vendors in the flea yeah, market. Yeah, the vendors, flea market, yeah. Yep. So so that, that kind of surprised me, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, the other thing that surprised me is Uber was not, you know, as reliable. You know, they came, and don't get me wrong, Ooh. but but it took a long time to find the Uber. Ubers yes. would cancel, and then also, like, you know... It took a long time for them to get there. It would say it could be where we were too. Yeah. We were kind of on the side of town. Yeah, so it's a mm -hmm. ten minutes. Then you know it'd be ten minutes for thirty minutes. You yeah. know what I mean? So so you know yeah. that that was you know that you know, was a it bit was of a surprise. Not, you know. uh, safety, you know, I don't know if this is a necessary surprise, but safety, we you know, we just felt completely safe. Completely you know, safe. you know, never felt um, any harm or, or you know mm -hmm. anything you know I, you know it's funny I feel safer in Mexico because when I yeah. walk someplace you know I'm not kind of like you know looking Watching in the parking lot yeah you know like when we walk to Walmart and I'm not looking you know around yeah. to see if there's you know somebody's going to come up to shoot the place yeah. up you know you know the funny thing is we did see one person kind of lose it well I saw I mean she was in the room you know, one person loses it, it was all ah, yelling and, you know, yeah. kicking on the door. And he, he was actually an American, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was kind of funny. So I'll see if I have a clip of that and not, I'll <laughs> cut it in. But but basically, he tried to pet somebody's dog yeah. and the dog bit him, you know, and then... The dog was in the fence. Yeah. And then so the guy kicked the dog. Yeah. yeah. Then the guy kicked the guy the, the, the guy owner. that lived there yeah the <laughs> owner and then the owner and the dog ran in the house and then the, the american guy is literally like just kicking was kicking the door like yelling and yeah. kicking the door it was it was crazy it's like whoa you know but <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
But anyway, so totally safe. So, so the question, you know, one of the things we wanted to do is see if we would, you know, is PV kind of the place for us over at Guadalajara? So, oh, so yeah. what would you say, yes or no, and why? Why yes or why no? Um, no, because I just feel like, well, maybe 50-50, right? I feel like where we were staying was a little too rural and a little too hilly, and I would have to have elevators and stuff. Um, so maybe on the on the newer side, it, it might have worked out, but we didn't spend as much time over there, so I, it would be a little hard for me to say. Um, but where we were specifically at, that's just a no. The roads are horrible. <laughs> it's really hard to get, you know, back and forth without tripping and stuff like that. So I'm a very clumsy person, so that's just a no. So, so I would say, you know, I, I still like Guadalajara. Uh, a lot better yes. you know i like the weather in guadalajara better mm -hmm. you know so the first couple of days we were in puerto Vallarta, it, it rained you mm -hmm. know and then the preceding days after that the weather was fantastic but then it got hot and humid and it gets hot in guadalajara but you know it cools off a lot easier and it's more of a, a dry heat mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is the hills like you like you mentioned yeah the hills and and then too you know just more you know of that we want more of that big city mm -hmm. you know what i mean where you know living in the more of a condo yeah. you know where we're on a 20th floor can look out and stuff yep. like that so so you know that's why i would pick uh a guadalajara over pv so do you have general advice for the folks that are going to uh pv you know that uh, you could recommend um i would make sure if you are impaired at all like walking or something like that to really make sure of where you're staying that it's it's level ground um or that you're able to use a wheelchair or whatever you need um because that could be a really big problem because you know a lot of i was just like i don't know how somebody with a wheelchair would get around around here because it's you know the, the and the the curbs are super high in some areas so that would be um really tough um i think Staying in a place that's not just a resort is going to be a really good, you know, thing for you because it's good to get mixed up with the culture and the people and the smells and everything that goes along with the smells. <laughs> the smells. The smells. There's lots of different smells. Yeah. I'm not sure how to take that. Is that a pro or con? Or oh, what? lots of food. And yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, no, lots of food. Um, lots of really, you know, cool things, but, and then, you know, you hear all the sounds of the, of the vendors walking around, you know, yelling or ringing bells or whatever. So I like all of that. Um, so I, I think definitely my biggest takeaway was if, if you have some type of impairment, definitely make sure where you're staying, make sure if they have an elevator, cause you don't want to have to walk up four flights of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real thing um and then just be free to try new things new foods um don't be afraid to try the things at the flea market because i think some people might be a little worried about that but i was willing to try anything i think the food was delicious <laughs> what about you um so keep some pesos in your oh, pocket yes. for the bathroom you know what i mean and oh boy and we carried a backpack wherever we went so um you know, we had like a roll of toilet paper in there yeah. too. So just make sure you have some pesos because if you yeah. have to use the bathroom, you know, a lot of the bathrooms there, you have to pay for uh, pesos. And, yep. you know, they will give you like a little stipend of a uh, toilet paper. So, you know, if, you, if you're if you a generous toilet paper user, you know, you'd want to bring your own. Yeah. Um, wear comfortable shoes, you yep. know, stay hydrated like any place that's oh a gosh. little bit warmer stay and humid. Um, the other thing too is, it's kind of interesting. If you find a good deal for whatever you're looking for, whatever mm -hmm. you're trying to do, if you find a good deal that you're comfortable with, you know what I mean, pull the trigger. Because there was a couple of occasions where, you know, I was like, okay, you know what, you know, I want to find a better price for this item or, 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 or this activity. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you'd, you know, go 
and you know, someplace else and yeah. you know then you go back and that person's not there yeah. and then you can't find that deal then you're like then you're trying to do it then it's like yeah. oh dang yeah so so if, if there's a deal that you like it's okay just go ahead and pull the trigger you know what i mean yes. because uh you know you can always find maybe find something cheaper but not always you know what i mean so mm -hmm. so that happened to me twice where you know i was trying to find a better deal and couldn't find it and then i couldn't find the the original deal so so I lost that a little bit. Um, the the last one is, and this is kind of funny. I, I don't know. Should we talk about how much we spent? What do you think? Oh yeah. Okay. I think it's very important. Okay. So 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 this. so Mexico can be a, a, as an expensive or yes. as cheap as you make it. You know what yep. I mean? So so Plus we were there. 15 days yeah. so that's a long time yeah you know so like if you want to like you can do it real cheap mm -hmm. you know go eat street talk street food every yep. day or you can you know and and walk everywhere or yeah. you can do uber you know so, so you can you know make it as expensive make mm -hmm. it as as cheap as you want so yeah we eat at restaurants a lot yeah so so all right so if we start talking about like kind of some of the prices here so we we bought the we rented the Airbnb I don't know like probably four or five months ago you know so I'll have to put that in there but how much do you think it was about thirty five hundred okay, so yeah. thirty five hundred for that mm -hmm. um, so we had about one well we had one thousand one hundred eighty eight dollars yep. that we took out of the ATMs uh, for um, pesos that we spent while down there uh, there was about twelve dollars worth of uh, conversion fees. And with the conversion fees, we have Charles Schwab, so that was credited back. So that's good. So, yep. so it's a good bank. Um, we took uh, 27 Uber rides while down there in our 15 days, and just know some days we took Uber, and some days we didn't take Uber. And the days we took Uber, you know, we used a lot of Uber because we did oh, a lot wow. of the stops. Like we would go to one place and then hang out there then go to another place hang out there and that's a lot of times because we went to the other side of town mm -hmm. and we didn't want to walk that far you know and then occasionally we would you know take a uber back you know to the airbnb you know because because of the hills you know but mm -hmm. but with those 27 ubers you know uh the average cost was eight dollars and 86 cents and that's with tips so so the ubers are, are pretty affordable you know we took a uber from uh dallas fort worth here to our house and yep. it was around 100 bucks so yeah so that's kind of crazy um so going back to you can make uh, mexico as expensive or Ooh. as cheap as you want it you yes. know you know we went to a few different restaurants uh while we're down there and when we went to restaurants we would spend between 50 and 80 dollars serranos we spent i think the most at 150. Mm -hmm. um so you know we also did the boogie you know which was uh, about two hundred dollars. The boat was uh, about, and this is USD. Uh, the boat was a uh, whale watching was about one hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. The zoo was a hundred dollars a piece for Colton and I to uh, pet the lion and pet the tiger. We didn't pet the I tiger because the tiger is feisty. Yeah, she didn't do that. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. we we spent forty seven hundred dollars. Yep. Okay, and uh, about twelve hundred dollars of that of that forty seven hundred dollars was part of the immigration stuff so it was yep. 312 dollars a piece at the uh, immigration office and then we gave um the person a 300 dollars at our facilitator mm -hmm. because we originally were doing it in guadalajara but then we came down here and so our facilitator worked with a facilitator in pv or guadalajara guadalajara <laughs> facilitator <laughs> reached out to a co-facilitator yep. in uh here in pv and uh and then so we paid an additional three hundred dollars and and it was okay when we found out that the, the lady had to sleep there overnight oh to stay in line which is crazy i would have never guessed that she was yeah. gonna have to do that, yeah. that was and crazy. then she looked good she looked better than us I you know, know. she, she like, was pulled together yeah. Yeah, yeah so so yeah so again you know you can make mexico as expensive as you want or yes. as cheap as you want it we we kind of tried to do a lot of different things you know we mm -hmm. ate out a little bit more than we probably you know we you know than we do at home yeah but but you're on vacation vacation calories don't count right no they don't all right so so um this wraps up our our pv stuff you yes. know um there's two more videos i want to post highlights of the razor that i have a couple clips and highlights of the lot i have a couple clips so so i'll post two more pv videos but 
but in closing what what's what's next for us what's what's our next adventure oh my gosh well we leave very soon on our nashville slash bristol motor speedway race um trip and i am beyond excited i'm a little bit of a nascar fan yeah, so, <laughs> so so i'm a giants fan Woohoo! Yeah, so a couple Giants games we'll go to this year. Some other baseball games we'll go this year. But yep. we're going to be going to a few different uh, NASCAR events, you yes. know, uh, because, you know, once we move to Mexico, we're not going to be kind of going back for NASCAR and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. so we're just trying to hit some NASCAR. So I'll post that stuff. I don't know if you guys would be interested in NASCAR if you're watching PV stuff, but maybe. I don't know. Yep. Uh, then definitely I would want to, you know, do some dives. So we're going to be... You know, in Florida yep. a little bit, so maybe dive when we go to Florida in a, in a couple months, or you know, for my birthday we might go to Houston and uh, hit nice. uh, yeah the, the Gulf. You know, what I mean, maybe yeah. go diving in the Gulf, but uh, but yeah. So you know, we have some trips coming up. You know what I mean? Um, at my job, <laughs> I have unlimited vacation. I know it's kind of crazy. Well, what's unlimited vacation? Well, basically, I can take as much as I want as long as my boss approves it in Spain. <laughs> so hey, I'm going to take advantage, but. Yep. whatever you know um so uh, again just thank you guys for watching you know you know i hope you guys found this interesting you know what i mean and i i don't know like i people who travel i encourage you just hey record it throw it up on youtube because yeah. your experience is going to help somebody else mm -hmm. so you know you know i i definitely say you know do that and uh i also say you know hey you know, you have one life, you know what I mean? Make mm -hmm. the most of it every day. You know, stop and smell the roses. You know, If you're thinking about it, do it. Yeah. You know, just enjoy life. You know what I mean? Yep. Life is too short. There's too many crazy things happening. Yeah. Well, especially here in the U.S. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of crazy things happening. But, you know, I, I just really say, you know, take yeah. time out. You know, you, your loved ones, and enjoy life. So, all right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you.